All right, Whalers fans, I'm here with number one star of tonight's game, Ryan Patch. And Ryan, a late start to tonight's game. You get a two-hour delay, but you get the face off around 9.35 tonight. You guys played a pretty solid game. You come away with a 6-1 victory over Steel City. Tell me a little bit about the game plan tonight and your win here tonight. Oh, uh, well, you know, in the locker room before the game, the big thing is just kind of stay focused and we can get the game going. And after that, it's just we use games like this to work on the little things, take the body, you know, play our positions and just do all the little things right so that we can get ready for the next game tomorrow. Now you guys again with the delay, does that affect you guys in the locker room in any way? What did you guys do differently to prepare or try to keep your heads in the game overall? Because you had a long, lengthy, lengthy delay before the opening face-off tonight. Yeah, I mean it's a little tough, but uh, you just have to deal with it and um, find ways to keep yourself occupied. And then once you know it's time to go, you got to get your heads back in it. And I think the boys did that tonight pretty well. Now you had two goals in the game tonight, the second one coming on a breakaway. What were you thinking as you went out on that breakaway on uh, Dalton McGrath there? Were you going five-hole all the way, or were you just kind of seeing what he gave you and, and just doing what you could do? Um, yeah, actually, I was planning on going five-hole all the way. I faked the shot and was just kind of hoping he was going to open up, and he did. So I got to tuck it by him, so I guess he just got pretty lucky. <laughs> Very nice. And Ryan, one more question. You guys have the win tonight against Steel City. You go in tomorrow, you're playing against the Watertown Bulls. Obviously, the team that's ahead of you in the standings, they're the number one team in the league. You guys are number two. You guys are on an eight-game winning streak right now. So what do you guys go into tomorrow night's game? What's your game plan going into tomorrow? And how are you guys going to go in looking to, to play as you guys have been doing? Uh, the same thing as tonight, you know, do, we got to do little things right, come out, take the body. Usually when we do that, teams can't really hang with us, they back away. So if we come out and do that, we get a couple quick ones, it should be, should be a problem tomorrow. And finally, one more question. You, got, uh, you were a co-rookie here last year with Tim Richter. You're, you're a leader in this locker room now this season. Do you feel any more added pressure this season as opposed to last year as a rookie? Um, no, I don't think so. I think we have a lot of guys, even the first year guys are, you know, pretty well with all everything, so it's kind of everyone's leader in there, everyone picks up their roles, so no more out of pressure, just trying to do the same thing as us, you know, get the wins and just keep going on the streak. Sounds good, Ryan. A late night here tonight, but the Whalers get the 6-1 victory. Ryan Patch, number one star with, star with two goals. Ryan, thank you very much for the time. Congratulations on the win. Thank you.